The thing that really got me going on studying whales was one day there was a report on the radio that a dolphin had gone ashore somewhere, and I thought, wow, and so I went out to see it. By the time I got there, it was light. In fact, it was dark. I had a flashlight, it was raining, and I looked down at this dolphin. Somebody had carved their initials on the side of the dolphin. Somebody else had stuck a cigar in its blowhole. Somebody else had hacked off its tail. I stood there in the rain for a long time. At some point, the flashlight went out. I was thinking, why is it that this is the interaction that most whales can expect from humans? Why is this what happens? At that point, I decided, no, I will do something to change what I do in life, to try to have some effect on this. When that idea occurred to me, it was the greatest sense of emancipation I've ever felt in my life, because I could finally answer the question, towards what end is my life lived? <laughs> to say to myself, I want to change people's perceptions of the wild world and the importance of it, and I knew that's what I wanted to spend my life doing. It was a kind of flood of happiness. I don't quite know how to describe it. Mm -hmm.